I thought I came here to the building you were here and I gave you a loan. There I am. I didn't know if I gave you the actual report. Uh, yeah, so. I think you gave me the rest. that, but I, I do want to just raise a few questions about that. Um, Todd, I went back to your original email you sent back in January. Um, it, it's been confusing to me why there would be three commissioners up in one year based on how the Planning Enabling Act um, reads. And um, I think what the confusion is, is when I look at your email, it, it's almost like you're saying there's different terms for different people like somebody's one year somebody's two years and it, but anyways i guess I, I i have questions on that and i think it all you know in that first year that the planning commission was started there should have been staggered you know some people would have been one some people two some people three but after that initial period everybody goes to three years so I, I do have some questions on some of those dates in there. So when you get to um, discussing that, I just wanted to let you know that. Any other comments? Um, hearing none, can we have the October bills? You will. <clears throat> You'll find there's a, I give everybody a, a third page to the bills right here. Uh, first of all, we have a rising for full, $154.98. There are several bills to the road commission. The first one is two thousand dollars for brush control at intersections. The second one was the final chloride treatment, eighty-six hundred seventy-three sixty. We had a uh, frog seal, chicken seal treatment on Bacchus Road, eleven thousand five forty eight oh six. Tamarack Road, sixteen thousand five ninety five point one cents. We're still waiting on a bill for the mail road redo. Uh, United States Postal Service, sixty-six cents for postage. Campbell Hardware for twenty-five ninety-eight. Granger at the cemetery for the dumpster was eighty-five ninety-eight. BTE for gas. Here is uh, one fifty-six. Consumers Energies, twelve forty for streetlights. One twenty one eighty-nine for the community center. Thirty-six eighteen for the cemetery. 
Uh, Luton Area News for Publication is $160. Richard's Septic and Reporter Job, uh, $165. That'll probably be discontinued next month. Uh, the village rented us a chipper for the tree damage at the cemetery. We had a windstorm about a month ago, 228 down four. The water bill for the community center was 4504. Cats there, point for internet is 7524. And Brian's a, at the cemetery for the month is 675. Kelsey for zoning is 48183. The two assessors are 1203.53. Clerk and treasurer rental reimbursement is 150. 50% uh, of the website cost to the village was $12.42.40. Uh, we had another bill from Foster Swift, the attorney firm, for $17.25. Monthly board per diem is uh, $31.87.38. The county treasurer bill backs on taxes is $5.07. Our FICA payment is $741.06. Uh, state quarterly tax is $1,318.40. The unit number was $1,408. And we had a bill from Staples for office supplies, 144.36. Um, <coughs> assessor postage was five dollars and ten cents, and election postage was uh, two hundred forty dollars. Is there a motion to accept the uh, clerk's report and pay the bills? Are you going to say that the FICA amount is way out and on here? Oh, it's supposed to be 741. Yeah, it just duplicated. Right. I don't know why. I see that. Yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> I didn't do when I read it. I don't want to do that. Yeah. Any, uh, is there a motion to accept the clerk's report? Hello. Is there support? Support. Discussion? Uh, the website, is that yearly? Yep. Yeah. That's, there is maintenance fees occasionally, but that's okay. the... That's 50% of the annual cost. Yeah. And then this it doesn't really have to do with the, the cost, but aren't the assessors supposed to come in soon? Okay. They're coming in November. Okay. The uh, county uh, road commission got back at that actually that was uh, Schmied in there, wasn't it? We didn't do it oh, yeah, uh, yeah. We it's, didn't it's, do it's actually Schmied, yeah. From, it was from Macus. From Macus in the yeah. corporation yeah. process. Right. And they actually paid, I don't know, a quarter of a mile farther than what we contracted for, but they didn't bill us for it. Mm -hmm. The road commission took care of it. Did a nice job. Yeah. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Uh, Treasurer's report. Uh, Cato Township checking beginning balance is five hundred sixty thousand seven hundred six dollars and twenty two cents. We had an income of thirty six thousand twenty four dollars and eight cents. Our bill totaled fifty two thousand six hundred thirty six dollars and thirty one cents. Our ending balance is five hundred forty four thousand ninety three dollars and ninety nine cents. Fire district, our beginning balance is one thousand nine hundred thirty one dollars and twenty eight cents. We had an income of eight cents. Our ending balance is one thousand nine hundred thirty one dollars and thirty six cents. Honeymoon Heights, our beginning balance is $8,035.30. We have an income of $0.33. Cents. Our ending balance is $8,035.63. Our CDs beginning and ending balance is $107,184.80. Is there a motion to accept the treasurer's report? So moved. Supported. Any questions? Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Zoning report. Okay, I believe uh, uh, Joyce had the uh, August report. She uh, named off the permits. There were uh, seven of them that month. And this month, the month of September, there was one for a farm shop. On North Bacchus Road. There's no address on it yet. I do have the tax ID number on there, but you can see the copy there. And they're in the process of getting the address now. Uh, and that's it. Who called that? Uh, Joyce that question. Yeah. And then there's a couple, uh, one, I don't know if that's what street is that, Bacchus, I believe it is, where uh, there's a violation. 
and there's blood and it's still there. He paid two tickets. I went to the courthouse not too long ago and they're kind of, I don't know, delayed back a little bit. There's a number of them I've turned in for different townships and they're all kind of uh, getting old. About once a month I'll go in there and ask what's going on. Uh, yeah. As soon Is as that she. Any dates or? No, no hearing dates. That's what I went to get them, and uh, they, uh, as soon as the guy pays the fine, then I can write another ticket again, and have to pay more, and you know, keep doing it. Eventually, uh, I would think you straighten it up. Do you have a timeline to pay the ticket? I mean, or thirty days. Or when I write the ticket out, we have to give them thirty days, okay, and then I write the ticket out, and. Uh, the ticket, they have 15 days supposedly to respond from the date I write on the ticket. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's been like uh, 30, and I uh, went there and they said it hasn't been uh, processed yet, and the guy hasn't paid it yet. So mm -hmm. I don't know what, it's in the court thing, I yeah. guess I could say. But I think you may have mentioned about a couple of them, and those are both. The other yeah. one, I'm afraid, yeah, hopefully we can get it taken care of. I call on both those two. Yep. So that's it. Any other questions of Dave? Got anything? Uh, I think we're going to add me to the call. Oh, okay. So, um, new business. Uh, I'm going to make a motion that we move our meeting date in November to the 14th because of the election on the 8th with that being right on the 7th. Is there any support for that point? Is there any other support or discussion? Your director of your library. Uh, I just wanted to come today and uh, inform you of what's going on at the library for the last fiscal year. Um, I have been there for just over a year now. Um, and we have currently, um, at the end of the fiscal year, which was July 1st, uh, we had 3,426 patrons um, with 19,156 uh, visits to the library. We had 90 programs the last 12 months and um, 13,186 um, people attended those programs with 58,557 um, items going out in the library. Um, I wanted to tell some highlights uh, for the last year. We replaced five PCs in the building so that we can stay up to date and have um, computers that are up to date. We bought a new server for our computers, um, a new self-checkout. Um, our fire suppression system wasn't quite up to code, so we got that up to code um, so that if there's a fire, the water comes out on time. Uh, we upgraded some interior lights so that our bills would decrease. We uh, repainted some of the inside, fixed some water damage in the basement due to flooding, and um, replaced and extended our perimeter fence. We also added a giving tree um, so that patrons could donate books uh, that will be coming in. And then uh, part of the library, we, ha we have to have a strategic plan, and so a five-year plan. Um, and that was due this year also. And so part of um, the five-year plan, we want to get into the schools and um, do more for uh, the teens and tweens and, and students in our um, community. And then um, we are also going to work on um, the outside of the library. We're going to add a pavilion in the next five years is the plan in our um, outside space so that we can have outdoor programs uh, and not have to rent a tent if we need to. And um, we're also working on getting a um, bookmobile or a um, mobile library that would not just service um, 
locations that are in Kingdom Township, but all of the surrounding areas um, a little bit easier because we do service all of the Lakeview school districts, and some of them have a more difficult time getting to the township. So. I didn't get your name in, but I missed that. Sorry. Deanna Riggleman. Thank you very much for having me today. Thank and you then the, your other you. trustee besides me that is here is uh, Dorothy Farrell. And we represent Kingdom Township. So. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks Anybody for having have us. Any questions? Oh, oh. <laughs> No, but thanks for your annual report. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank it's you. It's been a long time since we've had one. <laughs> we'll make we, the annual now. <laughs> we, uh, we haven't been very, very good about our keeping things like that up to date. So. I have one question. Yeah. Is, uh, you see you have water damage in the basement. Is that quite often now? Or, I mean, they replaced that drain going there. That's county drain. Has that happened or just one storm? We don't ever want to have that happen again. services we do this annually and I have the uh, letter of engagement not to exceed $3,800 so I'm going to make the motion that we go ahead and engage for that. Is there a support? Support. Moved and supported. Uh, discussion? What was this letter of engagement? The, the CPA, um, the Michigan CPA services comes and does an annual audit. Okay. She's uh, writing to that she has an office in Big Rapids too, doesn't she? Um, or are you used to I, she doesn't have a full time office anymore. That's where I meet her, but um, she had, I think she either sold that or closed it or whatever. But so that's she, what she charges then? Is that what she charges saying? a flat fee thirty eight hundred every year. Yeah. So it's well, it's, I mean, it's more. Not usually yeah. thirty six hundred. Okay, I just was curious about the last one. Okay. Yeah. Um, she does several of the. She does the fair board also. Most of the ships are uh, most of the time. Uh, I think she does it in mm -hmm. uh, yeah, mock, 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 mock town. So it's, we do it every year. Now we get charged that every year then? Because mm -hmm. you're supposed to do it every two years. <coughs> you're required to We're required every two years, but we have chosen to do it every year. Which is a good, I mean, I don't have a problem with mm -hmm. pay the 3800 every year. Um, they, we've done it ever since I've yeah. been here every year. It's a good idea. It's like Todd said before, he's got everyone here, why not do it? It's in your mind. Quite a lot of money, but it's also hand we handle quite a lot of money too. So it is uh, any other uh, any other discussion? All those in favor of Todd uh, entering into the contract with the auditor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Um, any other new business that we haven't? Old business, you said you had. I'll go on the end because some of us have the master plan. Okay. I'll go on the end. Um, who's 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 oh, 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 planning to to, to uh, Brandy's question about the feeding seasons? What, what I show, according to the previous minutes from years past, there's two seats that are available coming this 
and it is December. The, the chairman, Joe Miles, met up until 2024, and I think Joe Sweet, who took Kim Carr's place, he's not up until 2024, according to the minutes that I followed. So we do, I know that we have at least two two-year terms coming up in December. But there are people interested in those seats. They need to make application to me. I'm going to put something out on the website if anybody's interested. Or if anybody has other ideas. So you changed from what you said back in January? Because you said there was three. I thought, I thought Joe's seat would be up as well because I thought Kim's term was expiring. Okay. Uh, but I don't believe her term is expiring until 24. And they are, they are, so they are staggered for now. Okay. Um, I, I kind of did my own calculation and I was coming up with one that was, was up in okay. 2022. So maybe you and I can reconcile that um, okay. between now sure. and then. Um, that'd be great. Okay. Do we have any other discussion on the uh, appointment of the uh, seats to the plan? We'll, we'll make that decision in December, December right? Right. Okay. But if, there, if there's interest in yeah. parties, they should make application to me between now and then. Just a written application for now? Yeah. Just, yeah. Do you guys post that? We to? will. Okay. October 12th meeting, I think. Yes. They're, they're both invited. I don't have a commitment from, from either one for sure yet, um, <coughs> but they will be here, you know, until 6 p.m. and uh, ask them to bring a uh, uh, proposal. Yeah. They, they both have information from me from a few months ago. Yeah. Um, McKenna was the only one that responded, and I think they gave us prices maybe in April or May. I gave you compliance commission back then. Yeah. Uh, Roe has not given us any prices. Roe does work for the village. Um, I told Phil last month, it's, it, it, it's really strange. These engineering companies don't seem to be very excited about coming here to work. So, they were too small, or I mean, I don't know. Probably too busy. Yeah. They may be busy. I don't know. But the, the three of them we've tried. One guy retired from land plan. He's done. He's just helping. First gentleman at Row who did the last job for Village of Lakeview, he's retired. He's not interested. He gave me the name of the committee over there. He's interested, but um, no commitment from him yet. And then McKenna and I are telling him they were very interested. Now they're the ones that have also work for the village. No, that's no, Roe. That's Ro. Ro. So there's there's two companies invited to come to the PC meeting in October. I don't have a commitment from either one. I have names and phone numbers, but no commitment. So if you do hear something about Phil, don't send me an email. Okay. Um, oh, the one reason they're probably they're probably busy is that there's a Harper game over the uh, very good chance. Uh, there was I had an email from uh, no I didn't get I, well I did the daily emails I get from the MTA. One of the uh, mails from the township they had uh, got the. MTA has a um, plan for updating our uh, information for, for guidelines. It might not hurt to download that. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get it for Phil. I don't know if that show, probably showed up on your clerk. Uh, yeah, I've got that one either now. I've got his number. Uh, but MTA has something for the group. So a starter guideline. I haven't been in here since it's been complete. Do they do it in a week, Jordan? Or What's that? Do they do it in a week or less? Or? No, probably a week and a half, maybe. Yeah. yeah. They, uh, if they, was it last Wednesday, Tuesday, Thursday, weekend, they were working, finishing up? Or yeah, they were up 
by the local rule in there. There, there has been a few pioneer remedies because you see the stains on the ceiling, but Fire. they had a, they had they had some rain and wind while they were replacing the roof, and I thought sure we were going to have a mess. It was a big thing, so we took mm -hmm. that and went up, up there was one night when all the materials blew out on the sidewalk. You know, wind struck them. Yeah. 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 We had probably, had probably walked up there with everything that came down. Yeah. I've seen a building yeah. that they yeah. say they're done. So. Any, uh, any other uh, done, huh? any other old business to come before the board? No, I've got one idea. Oh, oh one for right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 And well, Phil, let me re re reiterate about possible reimbursement of money to the commission members for all the work we did in the wind ordinance, like you said at the last meeting. And then, what does the board want to see on the solar ordinance? Is the two things they're asking to bring in there. Because we're going to start working on solar on the 12th. I, I had given Phil the solar ordinance that we started to adopt, I don't know, it's been a couple of years ago, maybe more than that, three or four years ago. We didn't publish it in the paper, but, the, but he has a template. Okay, from that we're trying to adopt. Uh, along those same lines, David, he had asked me to contact the uh, neighboring communities okay. on uh, PNC wages on that average. Okay. think we can because we, we set our budget in June for the for the twelve month fiscal right. year. Well the only thing is is we should decide to pay a bonus for extra work. That's what that's what we got. Right. Uh, I didn't say anything. Why don't you why don't you uh -huh. ask Phil to bring us a discuss and bring us a recommendation. Okay. Comment again. Beth Rushmore Cato. Um, just a question on the ARPA money. Um, is there a time frame when that has to be spent? Or okay, and um, would it would be nice to see that I guess on the agenda every month, like where how much we got, what's been spent, just what the balance is, and kind of what's going on with that. Just just a thought. Any other comment? Lynn Mullen. Um, mine kind of goes along with that, and oddly today, um, this did happen, but I was I went to the Montcalm Township board meeting last month, and it was really well run, and um, the paperwork that was distributed was excellent and easy to follow, even for someone not in that township. So I wanted to make some recommendations, and I don't know who I make them to, maybe Todd. So, and what they did is they handed out a sheet with the, um, the budget and uh, what was spent. You know, you have your report, your October bills, and then you have your treasurer's report. They had those on a handout for everybody. One side was um, all the bills and what check number and what was paid, and the other side was your re the treasurer's report. So, it was really easy to follow, and everybody seemed to know what was going on and it was like very um, open and I thought that was maybe something we could look at and then you wouldn't even have to talk about it because you could just say on your you know here's the sheet everybody sees the sheet um, and that kind of goes along with the ARPA money um, you know I think a lot of people are wondering oh you know what what's going for this what's going for that even at the budget um, meeting it seemed like there were maybe subcategories that the community doesn't know about. It probably was talked about, but I don't see where we see anything in the writing. So that if people are interested in following, I know Brandy brought up things, um, even you brought up something at the last meeting about some files, and I think you asked for them. Maybe Louise files or something. Did anything? Did you get them? Uh, we have them connected on getting in the office. That, that's the secretary of the city building. DEA and Planning Commission. Yeah. I just want to get that organized. Yeah. 
So anyway, I just thought the more, I think, transparent we are in those areas, then um, you're going to get better feedback and, and so on, maybe from the rest of the community. And I just thought that's the one thing that I noticed was really helpful. Um, there's a lot of other things that they were extremely organized in, how their meeting went. Not that you're not, um, but it's sometimes it seems like maybe we can upgrade like it's 2022 coming to 23, we can upgrade some things to be um, more informative board, possibly. So I just want to recommend that. Okay, it's Pete Pat. I didn't see him here before. You got something to bring to us from the top of that? Seems like you got enough on your agenda without mine. I'd touch on the ARPA money, I guess, because it's been brought up that... Uh, Obviously, I'm running for re-election. I think I'm a more valuable commissioner today than I was when I started. And I think the ARPA money is proof of that. My district, District 6, got more ARPA money by far than anybody else in the county. So I'm proud of that. I think that there's good places to spend it in District 6, and I pushed hard to make sure that that happens. So. Um, the other point I might ask or make is on the Dave's report on the junk or the blight ordinance. One of my colleagues in the last six months was on a mission to make the county's zoning ordinance, junk or blight ordinance, more strict. And the sheriff happened to be in the meeting that we were contemplating pulling the trigger on that. And he indicated that he currently has the power or the authority and is working on they're working at it. Uh, uh, we sent a deputy to the last supervisor's meeting, and, uh, along with uh, a copy of, uh, there's about half the supervisors there, maybe. Did I don't you think there's any, quite that many. But did you was, have any of those in the hopper that we turned over to the sheriff's department? Uh, well, I was one here, there's uh, one of them, the one on the back, that's, that's for this township, and uh, tomorrow I'm going to run up there, there's one on Maple Valley that's severe, I mean, unbelievable, and I turned that in months ago, and it, the guy's still there, and it looks literally like a junkyard, bad, well, out to the sure. edge of the road, I'm going to see what's going on with that, and uh, there's one other one I'm going to check into, but there's some in different townships that are their involvement. You know. I'd be interested to know the follow up on those if that's working, if that's. Yeah, that's, I'll find out tomorrow. I was going to go out there tomorrow during the day sometime and just get an update. So I'll know. I'll let you know too if sure. that's happening. Sure. Thank you. Uh, um, George, the deputy, is the one that came and presented the builder 